All right, we're back. We're going to do this one last reaction for the day. I have filmed about five different things today that have been super fun to do. Um, I've been wanting to do the movie and TV show reviews since about 2019, and I have done a few of those ideas before um, in the past that just never made it onto the channel. Um, like I did a review for like Batgirl back in the day and stuff like that, but everything that did get posted got removed around like October of 2019, no, no, like December, um, I had removed everything to re decide how to do this channel. And so I definitely did those. I want you guys to go watch those. If you guys have seen those, they are spoiler reviews. It'll say it in the title. So anybody that watches it and goes, oh, you ruined it for me in the title of those reviews, it'll say spoiler or non-spoiler. So pay attention to the title. Um, but we are going to jump into a reaction right now. I just filmed one to Chris Webby to an amazing song by Chris Webby. So everybody please head over to his channel, show him support, give him love for 2021 so he can be inspired to drop more hits. But we're going to jump into somebody we've never reacted to on this channel. I don't know why we've never done it because he's making mad waves and I should have done one to this a while back. Um, Ouija Mac, this dude, man, I... When he first signed to Psychopathic Records, which I'm pretty sure he is still a member of Psychopathic Records, even though Insane Clown Posse is focusing more on them than they are the, on the other artists and signing other artists. They have made multiple, several public statements about this, why they're doing that. Um, Ouija Mac is really shined on that label because around that time, we got two new young artists. We had Ouija and we had Light, Young Light. And it was obvious that Light was um, a different type of artist, that he took longer on projects um, because I don't think he is on Psychopathic anymore. I think he's just doing his Monstar Entertainment brand. Um, I don't, I know that Light had a, had a kid recently, so he's focusing on his family right now, but he we don't get a lot of music from him, so I would have loved to do some reactions to Light. Um, and I'd love to see him drop more stuff frequently and get more posts on sites like Fago Lovers, more love in the uh, the Juggalo news community. But he's just not super active. Um, in the ways that Ouija Mac is, at least from me just my viewing from the outside in, I definitely noticed that Ouija puts in a lot of work. He puts in a lot of work. He's always making videos, music videos. I love that. I love that he's always making new stuff. I've only heard a few of his songs. Yes, there were some. I liked some of them. And there were a, cu a couple that I just wasn't vibing with. Not necessarily a bad thing. Just not my cup of tea. But when I seen this video, I had seen that he was doing like the, uh, the ICP face paint on the kids. And I really wanted to see where he took this video. Because it looked like a different angle like a di like he was taking a different approach to the video editing and the video shooting for this video so i wanted to see it i seen some teasers posted on ig and i think maybe fago lovers or something like that but i definitely want to hear this song and hear how he does it i know the camera's a little weird i had to just flip everything because i am not usually doing stuff from this angle but i wanted to do it from this angle for this video um so i could watch the video we're gonna jump into it I don't know. Let me see. What's the name of this one? Let me find him here. God, we have so many. Um, Ouija Mac, Fork in the Pot. I'm super stoked to see this. I want to know how he does a lot of stuff. I want to try to get um, in his mind in this video and see like how he sees things and sees things. But also, I want to hear the music. I want to hear how good the music's going to be. So let's get into it. Ouija Mac, Fork in the Pot. Let's go. Is that his girl or is that just a model? She looks like a model, but he be do, he be chilling with some baddies though. I've seen in his posts. Hey, she's pregnant. I didn't even notice it yet. She's pregnant. That's all right. Let's see where he goes with this. So far, I'll be the vibe that I'm getting from the video is um, Mad Child and Tom McDonald's The Neighbors thing they did the co the uh collaboration they did for that album and they did that video where they're like these these rough neck these rough around the edges 
uh, neighbors playing like the like it uh, the straight edge role. I liked it. I dig that vibe. So let's see where he goes with this. Yo, hold up. Let's go. Ooh, hey. Pull up at the spot, death. You leave it without breath. I was doing without, yes. Now I'm getting a lot. Oh, okay. So I want to point this out about this man. So Ouija is the only artist. Out of all of the years that I've listened to anybody on Psychopathic Records, on Magic Ninja Entertainment, um, anybody from those, like that horrorcore style, um, that wicked style of music, you know, he's the only one that I have ever heard take the new sound and the new flow from the new age and combine it with that that wicked stuff and make it marketable like i have been wanting to hear people do this forever but everybody always just copy and paste the horrorcore format of trying to say the most brutal disgusting thing on a record he yes he'll do that sometimes but the way he's flowing yo that's 2021 2020 vibe right there that that's that's from the new age i dig it it's super catchy Best. Jugging the plot chest, forking the pot, yes. Tell it a lot less. I work with a lot less. Huh. Listen to me, baby, shut it up. Huh. Thou shall not talk when thou wasteland. Okay, so I think Wasteland was like a name of a CD he released or was releasing or is releasing. Um, but I love that we got to see Fast Forward nine years later. He's had the kid and life is much different. <laughs> shut it booty on me, mix it up. Huh. Put that pussy on me like a kitty perch. What'd he say? He said, put it on me like a kitty perch? <laughs> you, you, you out of pocket for that one, my guy, but I dig it. Fuck all of the nonsense. You better be cautious. The shit is beyond flesh. The shit is above influence. The shit is unconscious. You copy my whole style. You still be a whole bitch. You cannot hold. <laughs> oh, he said you still be a whole B. Oh my God, dude, that was so lit. I won't lie. When I first heard this, the 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 samples, because I again, I've never watched or heard the whole song. I just seen samples that people were reposting. Out of context, I was like, oh, I'm not really feeling it. Just because it was out of context, I didn't see the video i didn't i just heard a cl snippet of it and i was like oh it's it's all right listening to this yo i was wrong this slaps you'll be a whole bitch you cannot hold this you cannot clone this i'm not like a bite hey this. i got a bad hand hey can't even hold this. <laughs> my body, my yo that old man he was he was with the fork in the pot bro <laughs> Listen to me, homie, shut it up. Shut the fuck up. Thou shall not talk on my block, block, no, no, no. block. If I let oh! you, you ain't getting up. Oh, do you hear that? The block, block, block. Hey! Huh. Foot up on your neck and here you go. I'm telling you, watch this. I'm oh! you watch this. When my haters watch this, it made my cock stiff. Look, homie, I All right, sorry about that, guys. The camera actually died. Um, so I, I noticed it almost right away. So there might be a, like a very s short part where the camera cut out for a second, but I did just put the, another battery in. We're going to start right where I still left off. I'm not going to go back a little bit. Um, but definitely this song so far is a slapper, yo. Like it hits hard. Let's go. Yeah. If you want to talk shit, then gut of the gang, ho. Yeah. And yet we obnoxious. Right. We breaking the gates down. Right. You calling a locksmith. Right. We got it on key lock. Huh. We got it on locksmith. Yeah. Pull go. up at the spot. Oh. Yeah. Without breath. Yeah. I was doing without. Yes. Yeah. I'm getting hey, I like it. I like it. It's dope. It's in a it's in a very traditional format of like verse hook, verse hook, right? So far, at least. He may come out with an outro that's just crazy different. But everything about this so far is lit. What's the tattoos under his eyes say? It looks like trash. Is that trash fire? Because I remember he had something called trash fire at the time. Yeah, this dude, he is lit. He makes slappers. Like, he's the only artist in his genre. For You know what? Hold on. I'll go back at one step. Hold up. He's the only artist from Psychopathic Records that's doing this modernized sound. He's modernizing the sound, the look. The visuals, the posts on Instagram, face all of it. Like he's super good at that, and I'm super happy that such a younger artist um, is so open to doing different things. I love it. A lot best, jugging the plot chess, forking the pot, yes, till it be spotless. Damn, I work with a lot. That was a cake on a cake. Hey, Weezy's dropping bars by visual, just the visual bars. That's lit. Less, huh? Thou shalt not talk when thou waste and walk. Not talk when I, 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 
I love the chop and screwed style right there. That's lit. Shall not talk when I waste man walk walk. Thou shall not talk when I waste man walk. Okay, so this is what I meant. So he did kind of change it up with a little bit on what would be like the second or third verse. Um, instead, it's like an outro. Instead, it's it's filmed like an outro, and he added like a chop and screwed style to it. I dig that. It's a good way to keep the song fresh. Hey! Hey, hold up. Before it goes into this ender part, um, I think that this is a really good song that would be, it would be really good for DJs to sample into their scratching because this is so lit. I've made it this far. Walking the wasteland. You've lost some, but don't be discouraged. Do not mourn your dead. For those fortunate enough to pass before, shall we all be envious? Hey, that was creepy. That that ender was uh, very um, eerie. I liked it. it. Had a very eerie ending to it, much in the fashion of um, an artist from this genre. Definitely dig the slapper vibe to it, though. That's not something that we get a lot from, like the wicked genre, the horrorcore genre. Um, I don't know if I'd actually describe Ouija Mac as horrorcore, seeing how hard this song slapped. Um, not saying horrorcore songs aren't good. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they're slappers that and that you just want to bang out the stereo and their song. Then their songs you want to listen to and vibe with. Um, this is a slapper. Fork in the pot, definitely dope. To any juggalos, juggalettes out there, if I need to react to anything else by Ouija Mac or any other artist in the juggalo community, let me know. Get me educated. I believe Ouija is from. Las Vegas. So shout out to all the Las Vegas cats. There's a lot of talent in Las Vegas. Ouija Mac is holding it down for Vegas, son. I dig it. But hey, you guys know where it's at. The Isle of La La La. <laughs> I like wanted to say two things at once and they both were trying to come out. But you guys know where it's at. This is Cannon Reactions. I'm Colt Cannon and keep dropping knowledge.